Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to discuss few more important questions which are very important for your upcoming examinations of FCI Manager, FCI AG3, IBPS AFO, RRBSO, NAWAD. Okay. In this video, we are going to discuss only some few basic questions. Okay. Let's start. Which vitamin deficiency leads to black tongue disease? Retinol, thymine, riboflamine, niacin, pyridoxine. Okay. First, let's understand. When you talk about the retinol, it means you are talking about vitamin A. Thymine means vitamin B. Riboflavin, that is vitamin B2. Okay. And when you talk about the niacin, that is vitamin B3. Okay. And when you talk about the pyridoxin, that is vitamin B6. Okay. Due to the deficiency of vitamin A, that is night blindness. Due to B1, this is one B1, that is beri beri. Okay. And riboflavin, that is the... Uh, cracks on the screen, uh, skin, that is riboflamin, and niacin, that is the black tongue disease or pellagra. Okay, that is due to the deficiency of niacin, vitamin B3, okay? Which of the flowing is stomata closing type antitranspirant? Okay, what is antitranspirant? Then antitranspirant means materials that are applied to the plant surface just to reduce the transpiration from the plant. Okay, now, it is of various type like stomata closing type, film uh, forming types, reflecting type, growth retardant. Okay, but the question is regarding the stomata closing type. Options are atrazine, carbon dioxide, while wax one and two. Then you must remember while and wax. These are the film coating, film coating types. Atrazine, carbon dioxide, phenyl mercuric acetate. These are the stomata closing type. Okay, so our answer will be one and two both. Next is lines joining equal depth of rainfall is known as isohills, isobaths, isobar, isotherm, isofluvial. Then isohills are the lines connecting points of equal sunshine hours. Okay. Isobaths, they are the lines connecting points of equal water table. Isobar of equal pressure and isotherm that is of similar temperature. The only one option is there that is iso. Uh, pluvial that is the lines joining the equal depth of rainfall so our answer will be the fifth one in the examinations even like in the examination like ibps also some questions are asked regarding the botanical name then here is the sizer eritinum is the scientific name of bengal gram red gram green gram coffee and lantern then Sizer Arentinum is the scientific name of Bengal gram. Guys, you must remember the scientific name of various important crops because you can see the exam like IBPS is asking the scientific name. Okay, so scientific name and family, they are very much important for the examinations. What is the optimal temperature that is required for the wheat cultivation that also in Celsius? 30 to 32 degrees Celsius, 24 to 25 degrees Celsius, 29 degrees Celsius, 34 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius. Then if you see regarding the wheat, then the minimum temperature that is required in wheat is that three to five degrees Celsius. Optimum temperature is 24 to 25 degrees Celsius. And the maximum temperature is 30 to 45 degrees Celsius. So our right answer will be for 24 to 25 degrees Celsius. It likewise, you can also remember the optimum, minimum and maximum temperature for the rice, maize, sorghum, okay. Which of the flowing is known as brown gold? Cotton, jute, potato, jetropha. When you talk about the cotton, that is known as the white gold. Jute, that is the golden fiber. Potato, that is known as the poor man's friend. Jetropha, that is a bioenergy plant. And the brown gold, that is the dead pipa of silk worm. Okay, dead pipa of silk worm. Family of Barsim, I've already told you that this type of questions are asked in the examination. Okay, then leguminaceae, poesy, tiliaceae, malviaceae, solanaceae, then family of barsim is, that is leguminaceae. Okay, family also you remember, when it, uh, like jute, it belongs to the which family? Tiliaceae. Okay, uh, uh, sundargrass, that is poesy. Okay, like that tea, that is theasis. So remember the family of various important crops also. Each of the following, now few questions will be asked from the chemistry also. So let's see first question of the chemistry and that is which of the flowing have the highest calorific value 
charcoal, ghee, butter, honey, and methane. Then among these, the highest, uh, if you uh, talk about the calorific value in kilojoule per gram, kilojoule per gram, then highest calorific value will be for the methane. It is nearly 55. When you talk about the butter, it is nearly uh, 30. When you talk about the ghee, it is nearly 37. When you talk about the charcoal, it is nearly 33. When you talk about the honey, it is nearly 13. So the right answer will be methane. Which of the following properties is constant, not content, that is constant, that is constant in adiabatic process. Okay. Now question is which of the following is constant in the adiabatic process, heat, enthalpy, volume, pressure, and direction. When you talk about the pressure, then it is constant in isobaric process. It is constant in isobaric. Okay. When you talk about the volume, then it is constant in isochronic. Uh, 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 this uh, function. When you talk about the direction, then isotropic. And when you talk about the ad adiabatic, then in this case, heat is constant in adiabatic. Okay. Which of the flowing mineral is the hardest? Gypsum, chloride, apatite, quartz, topaz. Okay. Then the, in among these, the most hardest is topaz. Okay. When you talk about the quartz, then quartz is harder than the, uh, or you can say the uh, feldspar, but topaz is harder than the quartz also. The right answer will be topaz. So guys, these were the few important questions. You must go through this video. Uh, if you want more and more questions, please subscribe the channel. Okay, so then you can see the daily video of important questions. And regarding the courses, we have already told you that we have already launched the course for FCI Manager, FCI Technical 3. Okay, so guys, see you in next video. Thank you.